I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023-25 BHSC Puma XLE Lite Travel Trailer by Palomino. Uh, if you've looked at these products before, you know the XLE line is uh, Puma's entry-level version compared to their flagship Puma. We've sold both for a long time. Um, this is a, called a 25 BHSC. It's a corner bunk model. There's the exact tag right there. Um, a lot of similarities to the Puma line, just a few less things on it. I'm going to point out some of those things. There's a sticker on the, it's going to be on the side of it, it's on the door. Uh, a sticker I'll show you in a minute with the exact weight and um, length information. So let me zoom out real quick. And I'm going to close the door, be loud. And I'll just quickly just pan, show you the interior. We're going to start at the front, work our way back, but I usually start by just showing the floor plan. So corner bunk, mid kitchen, living room with a bedroom at the front. So let's we'll start up here in the bedroom. Um, as far as the bedroom is concerned, if you're looking between the differences in this and a Puma, uh, this still has outlets on both sides. We just don't have the nightstands. There's no cabinet doors above. Um, that's kind of what they're doing. They're trying to cut down. That's a good example of, of cutting down some of the weight and cost in order to make it more of an entry-level camper. We're not talking about quality. We're talking about mostly cosmetic and features that just make things uh, nicer. But that's the principle behind this as we're looking at it. Uh, but again, still a Puma product. So uh, dual lights over the bed, um, overhead lights on a switch, two windows, one on either side of the unit, uh, storage below the bed. Good example there. Instead of having struts, we just have a regular lift up. Again, nothing wrong with that. Just a little less stuff. Uh, hanging storage on both sides of the bed here. TV hookup on that wall. One thing I like about this as far as what they do, they use still use a sliding door versus a curtain. Most of the products this is going to be competing with are going to just have a curtain, which... Um, to me is just you know, that's not even a door it just doesn't cut anything off but some light so we do like they put a sliding door here and then our window shades we still have uh, actual shades versus metal blinds so a lot of nice features still in this unit uh, at this price point when we go back out into the kitchen and living room we have a slide here to the right and then we're seating here to the left so i'm gonna look at the kitchen area first as far as the kitchen is concerned, uh, reasonably good right here, I think. Countertop space, got a glass top stove cover. If you're not going to use a stove and oven, you can still use that um, as a stove top area. Sparker that works all three stove eyes and uh, the the, st the oven itself. Again, three stove eyes versus two. No, nice big sink, same sink we see in the Pumas. Uh, regular faucet here, storage above. Um, and then a, a microwave still in this unit with uh, stove hood below. There's a roof vent here in the kitchen for ventilation and extra lighting as well. And in the slide, we have our refrigerator. A nice big 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Um, these are awesome. We love these uh, versus the old gas electrics. These things cool down so quick and they are a lot more spacious. And then we have a pantry also here. So really, really great storage as far as the pantry is concerned. That's floor to ceiling storage. Uh, deep and you know and, and wide as far as the storage here and there's also some right when you come in the entry so you've got uh, more storage here with some drawers and then just you know regular cabinet down there so that's a nice addition they could have easily just made that you know a blank area but they took the time to put that little nook in there and that countertop space that's nice maybe if you're cooking one of the spot for an insta pot or um, um crock pot or something like that you've got a little area to set that there so a nice addition. Zooming back out, looking at the living room area itself. So on the left side, we have our booth. It does make a bed if, if you need an additional booth, uh, sleeping space. Um, you got a big window there at the booth. Above that's going to be your TV, um, radio, and some storage around that. And right across from it is going to be your couch. So this is a, a jackknife sofa, kind of like a theater seat as far as having the uh, little middle console there. But it is a jackknife sofa. Uh, great design here with storage below and easy to access it. A uh, window behind it, window to the side of it, uh, USB port as well, overhead lights are on a switch, and then good storage above that as well. Notice this is still a flush floor slide. It's not a full three foot deep. It's about, it's what we call a two foot deep, but still a flush floor slide. It's a rack and pinion slide, um, and then it's a full height slide. So still the same quality and, and mechanism of slide that I see in most of my Pumas. At the back, here's our corner bunks. I folded this one up just to show you what you can do. Um, if you want, you can fold that up and pin it against the wall back there. And then you've got this little storage nook. Um, you know, I don't know what exactly you might want to put there, but it gives you an area that is larger than normal. Um, obviously there's a pin back there at the back. If you can see it, I'm trying to point to it. There you go. Um, you can put that down in the booth. The bed does go down. I'll, I'll do that for you real quick. So pull that if I can do it one handed and then you let this just fall down and you've got your bed. So 
two standard beds, um, wide beds, obviously with being corner bunks. Both beds have a light. Um, both beds have USB ports. That top bed even has a window at it. AC drop there, which is important. Um, and then you have curtains here to close them off if you want. Um, if somebody's going to try to sleep in, it's not a big unit. That's intention. So good luck. But uh, you've got an actual door here to close your uh, bathroom off as well. This is a really well-equipped bathroom um, for a product in this price point. That's a nice shower. That's a full plastic surround shower. Um, a lot of products uh, that are competing against this are going to just use wall paneling. Um, there's not going to be any of this. That is a very poor way to do it. It's cheap. Um, they still use a full plastic surround. There are shelves built into this. Uh, there's a seat there built into it as well. It's hard to kind of tell. That's a that's a deeper um, shower pan than what we often see. So um, that's that's really nice addition there. Uh, soft soft curtain here just to conserve space and weight. Uh, there's a skylight still in it. A lot of products will take that out. There's even a roof fan still in it as well. Um, I still have a foot flush toilet. And then we have storage over here to the right below our sink. And then a medicine cabinet with storage behind it as well, not just a mirror. So I think really the bathroom is probably one of the most well-equipped things. Um, again, price point considered um, in this unit. So they did a great job there. I'm going to turn and give you a look from the back toward the front of the unit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's go back outside, take a look at some stuff there. So on the exterior, um, still got the more rod step above steps with a quick adjust feet. Still got a big electric awning. Um, they're still doing tinted windows on this. There's still a window in the door as well. Um, great, great job on this front storage compartment. Puma always does a good job finishing these out, looking neat. Um, re really tie that in well with that wall, wall panel there at the front. So I think it's a clean and neat, neat way to do it. Big door on this side, little door on the other side because of the water heater. Outside TV hookups located right there. Uh, the mini outside kitchen, so I've got a refrigerator, uh, hot and cold water, and a griddle, and then a little bit of storage here as well. That all pulls out like that for better accessibility. On the back, there's a ladder on it. A lot of products don't have that. Spare tire mount on the back as well. Attachable power cord located there. Prep for a backup camera. Our TV hookups are on the back corner here. Outside shower, we got a black tank flush. A city water connection is still located here. Four manual stab jacks, use a cordless drill and they're even quicker than the electrics. This is your termination point for um, your bathroom. So you got your gray and your black here and there's a separate tank so you have even more capacity for the gray tank for the uh, kitchen up front. We'll look at that in just a second. So three waste tanks instead of just two. Again, rack and pinion slide, um, easy to work on, easy to manually crank in and out if you need to. Uh, there is our front tank for our kitchen. Furnace exhaust right there. Six gallon dual gas and electric water heater. And this is that storage compartment from the other side as well. That's your fresh tank fuel. At the front, this lower portion acts as a rock guard, it's a diamond plate, two LP bottles and electric tongue jack as well. So 2023, 25 BHSC Puma XLE. Um, oh, and the sticker, I wanna show you the length and weight. And it will be, let's see here. I do not see it. I usually see it. I'm sorry I'm I'm taking y'all's time. Man, it's usually on that front corner. Well, regardless, it's on our website, the uh, estimated weight and length, which will uh, be close enough. I'm probably going to find it if this video is over. But um, 2023-25 BHSC Puma XLE uh, corner bunk unit. The link in our description will take you to our website. That's going to give you more tech specs, uh, more pictures, um, the pricing, our contact information as well. We're all family. We'll be happy to help you. You can call or text us at 270-247-8187. But thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Again, this is Colin Fitzgerald at Arrowhead Camper Sales. Have a great day.